Hello ladies and gentlemen, viewers, fans and subscribers. Here I am, New Year. Hope you enjoyed my vlog that uh, I did on the last video. If you hadn't, go and check it out. Tell me what you thought of it. But here, as I promised, I said to you today would be, or this year will be the year of the age, bigger and better. I don't necessarily mean better beers, but you'll understand later on in the year when I release those videos. However, I'm going to start with the first barrel aged beer, or should I say the aged beer. We have Straff Hendrick Heritage 2021. So this is already two years old. Okay, this has been aging for two years. Um, this is from Belgium. This comes in at 11%. This is a 750 mil. You can just see the 11% there. 750 mil. So this is two years old already. And this is aged in oak barrels. So looking forward to this. Um, it's a quadruple, it's a dark beer brewed in the unique family brewery, the Half Man, which has been in operation basically since 1856 and is in a centre of Bruges. It's at least aged in a year in the oak barrels and the ancient cellars of the brewery. Give this beer a complex flavour and rich aroma. The beer is re-fermented in the bottle and has a longer shelf life. Uh, ready, ready, rah, ready, ready, rah. Okay, so yeah, it's basically what they're saying is the longer you age this, the better it's going to taste. So this has been aging for about two years now. I cannot wait to try this, so I'm going to shut the hell up and I'm just going to do this. So here we go. So the first aged beer of 2023. Let's do this. It is, of course, corked. And if I didn't, didn't add that in, I apologise. Move over there. I don't know how under pressure this is, so... You've got to be careful with these things. And as I say, if you're going to age a beer, there's a lot to consider. Okay, it's not too under pressure. But there's a cap, the half moon, as we can see there as well, and on the casing. smoke coming off there and uh, there you go there's a nice little um cork there it says the half man with some weird yeah it's supposed to be the the moon but it doesn't quite come out as the moon it looks some weird deformed thing i don't know here we go i mean i'm a big fan of straff hendrick so for this to be like a year, two years old. I'll leave it there for a minute. Look at that. Dark in its complexity, so you can just see hints of red. Good sort of, I would say a corn corn head, a yellowy corn tinge to it, still quite frothy for two year old, I'm not sure the exact date this was bottled but uh, for two year old this is going to be quite something, so let's get on with the aromas, a very sort of mild raisin, um, Earthiness, a hint of alcohol, everything seems dulled, dulled down, fuck it, let's do this, right, cheers everyone, to a two year aged beer. Okay. It's 
there is a tiny sour note to this. Um, it's a very hard one to describe. <clears throat> it almost tastes like a sour fruit. Almost as if you've gotten plums and, and cherries and blackberries that are just going off. And they're just starting to, to go bad. There's that sour, fruity taste. I've got I've got a reasonable amount of oak, but again, it's that wet. It, to me, it's a wet wood uh, taste, like a wet wood. The head is is still quite lively. It's still quite foamy. Doesn't really give much in the way of uh, flavour. I would say a sour cherry as well. It, to me, I can't get past that sour fruitiness. Sour dark fruits, maybe a sour cherry. No alcohol at all. <coughs> if I burp, sign of good beer. There's no alcohol at all. I mean, we are talking 11% here. This is 11%. I can't taste any alcohol. It is so mellow. It's rich. It's not what I was expecting. It's more mellowed, and I, I feel that I mean I don't know if two years is, is not long enough, but to me I I'm, I'm not bowled over by this. I'm not like oh, wow. Um, it's nice, but it's there's some oak there. There's sort of fermented sour fruit. I've got a an Guinnessy slash irony aftertaste, like an ale after taste of, of I presume that's from the hops it doesn't taste as sweet as it once did either it's lost its sweetness a bit and hence it's turning towards that sour note um, and the alcohol as I said it's not as warming as it, as it once was because I've had Black Hendrick 2 and uh, this is basically what it is but you know being Asian oak barrels and that is completely different it's sweet it's lively you know you've got a, a lovely flavour this almost just seems a bit, bit shit. Do I say that? It seems a bit shit. Um, I'm not writing the beer off. I'm just merely saying it. Just to me, I was expecting more. I was expecting more flavours to come in. It's more rounded, yes. It's more mellowed, yes. It's sour. It's, I don't know, it's more palatable. But I think I prefer it un, you know, unaged. I, I generally think there's more flavour in it than not being aged. However... I was to hang on to this and maybe just age this maybe another year or two. Who knows? Maybe absolutely mind blowing. Still good, but not nowhere what I was expecting. I was expecting to be blown away by this, but no, I, I clearly am not. A little bit of caramel just on the end there. Not bad okay so not what I was expecting so the first beer of 2023 and here it is it's been aged for two years and it is Staff Hendrick 2021 um, still a great beer still a, a fantastic beer but to me just not what I was expecting I was expecting more I'm not gonna lie um, and also the little QR code so you can go straight to their website if you scan the QR code so yeah, there you go. It's my first beer of 2023. What did I score it? I'm going to score it 7 out of 10. I was expecting a bit more from this, but hey. Still a nice beer. Still going to enjoy it. And uh, stay tuned, people, because I still have a couple more of the aging beers in process. But however, I will be releasing them slowly. So they're, they're going to come in, in the year slowly but surely. And uh, normal beers will resume. And also, so will my vlogs. So if you like the vlogs... Let me know and what you want to see in those vlogs and I might just do it, depending if they're sensible, of course.